Hey friend, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's video is a review on this wig. This is the Luna wig from Uniwigs. On the Uniwigs website, it describes Luna as being a shake and go bob. And that's really what this piece is. It's a very light, low density piece. I think it's 120, is it percent uh, density? And it's a really light, light wig. So it has a monofilament top, 100% hand tied monofilament top, and then a lace cap. And then there are some adjusters, of course, and clips inside. I'm gonna show you that in just a few minutes. I'll let you get a good look at the inside of the cap and then also the color. But this is the color CBR Mocha Brown. I think it's a really pretty color. It is a rooted color, which I really like. Of course, you can see this has bangs. I believe it comes with four inch bangs. Now, if you saw my Instagram IGTV video, I don't really know. <laughs> Instagram is hard for me. I'm still learning it. But I did a little video, like an unboxing video of this and the bangs are definitely much longer. I took it to a wig shop that's here and she cut bangs in it for me. Now you could do that your, yourself. You don't have to take it somewhere. Or the bangs might be fine as far as length is concerned. I just have a really short forehead. So really 100% of the time if I have anything with bangs, they're going to have to be swept to the side or I'm going to have to cut them because my forehead is just too short. I've already partnered with Uniwigs a couple times before this, but they reached out to me again and asked me if I wanted to review another wig for them. So they kind of said, you know, look and see what you want. So I looked at this one and I was thinking, I don't know, I really want to give it a shot, but is this bad to say? I feel like it looks better on me than it does on the model in the picture. I don't know. I just felt like it was going to be like really big and then shaggy. And yeah, it is. It has layers around it. You can see there are layers, right? And then it's longer here. But I feel like it just has really good movement. And I really do like how it sits. You can see, I mean, that's great, great movement for a wig. And I was just really pleasantly surprised, to be honest, when I opened it and put it on for the first time. Now, you can see it does have that middle part there, but of course it has the 100% fully hand-tied monofilament top, so you can change that part. Now, it's really set pretty well in there, so what you'll need to do is get it wet, blow it dry, and then probably put just a little bit of heat on it. This is a heat-friendly wig up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So always be careful, you know, I put some water in it and ran the hair dryer on it a little bit. And I even used my curling wand. It was a little big, the, the barrel, it's like one and three quarters, I think. So it's a little big for bangs, but you can use heat, you know, just be cautious. You don't wanna melt the fibers because they are fibers after all. One thing that I think is really cool is these fibers have the same amount of shine that human hair has. So when you get it, it's not like super shiny. I mean, you can tell it just looks, honestly, it just looks like healthy hair. It doesn't, you know, sometimes you get wigs I mean, it's like so shiny, it's Barbie hair. This is definitely not the case with this one, but you can just kind of see, I mean, as I'm playing with it, you can see how natural this looks. I just think it's super, super cute. And because of those layers, you can definitely um, get body or you can kind of sleek it down a little bit like that. I wouldn't do too much as far as styling is concerned, but if you wanted to pull the sides up, now I think that this style is a little, it's a little 70s, don't you think? I mean, that kind of shag, shag bob, <laughs> it's a shag bob. Now I'm doing this in my viewfinder, so I don't know if these are even, if they're in, I, I don't know. But you know, if you pull back the sides, that's pretty cute, right? If headbands are your thing, hey, that's kind of cute. If you wear glasses, they will fit under the tabs. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, they're under the tabs. And then over, I don't know. I actually never put my glasses over my ear tabs ever. That's just not comfortable for me. But, I mean, you could. They're over the ear tabs there. 
here is the ear tab here so I think it comes down it's a really good fit there for me and this does fit a 21 and a half inch circumference or I should say the cap size is a 21 and a half inch cap size now you will see um, when I show you the inside that I do have it cinched in a little bit but I don't wear a wig grip or a wig cap so I don't want to have to worry about it slipping off I'd rather it be a little tighter than have to worry about it slipping off since I don't wear a wig grip but I mean you can see it's not it's not going anywhere all right so let me give you a look at Luna from all sides and look at Luna on the inside. So this does have a 100% fully hand-tied monofilament top, so you can see it there. You can really see how that monofilament top works to make it look real on the top. So let me, yeah, you can really see it like that. So it really does look like the hair is growing out of your scalp. It also has the lace cap, which is really nice. I think this is like two two layers and on the inside there are it's going to be hard to see because this is black obviously but here's a clip here it's a pressure sensitive clip there and then on the other side of the ear tab so this is the ear tab there is a bendable stay in that ear tab but there's also a clip there so if you feel like you want to be a little more secure you can do that or if you have a wig cap that you're using you can clip that in to the wig cap or the wig, wig grip and then on the other side at the ear tab again there is another pressure sensitive clip and then of course the stay also notice here at the ear there's that like polyurethane I guess is what it is so it's gonna be able to you know if you don't have any hair it'll stick there a little easier for you I believe also in the back the very back so this is at the nape there is the adjustable tabs here so these are like the hook right so not the velcro not the bra strap adjusters but the hook adjusters so they come in pretty far now where I have it here you can really see that hair and it does look I mean the way it's gonna move there it's really gonna look just like scalp and even though it does look like it has a lace front it really doesn't because that the fibers are sewn right up to that line so you wouldn't be able to move it back like you know a lace front that you could sweep off the off your forehead uh, you can't do that with this but it still makes it look like it's real hair so since I have the wig off let's go ahead and look at this color this is the color mocha brown it's CBR Mo mocha brown so it does have a root so there's a darker root there which I prefer rooted colors most of the time also in the back here so this is the nape it has a darker nape as you can see there but I really do like this color because you can really see like highs and lows in there and I just think it's a very realistic looking color overall I'm really impressed with Luna I think she is a good everyday style if you don't want to have to worry about styling your wig okay so a lot of times you get a wig but you still have to style it right to make it work um, this is one that you don't have to do that. It says in, on the website, and it's true, it is a shake and go. And this is one of those that I can just throw on if I, you know, get up in the morning and I have to rush out the door, throw it on. I don't have to do anything. I do have a coupon code. I will leave everything that you need to know about this wig in the coupon code down below for you. But I do want to say thank you to Uniwigs for reaching out to me again and wanting to work with me again. So I really do appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.